It's that time of the year we start to shift seasons, shift conditions. We've definitely noticed a little bit of a warm up since late in the weekend. And today's the beginning of March, which is also the beginning of what you've heard referred to as meteorological spring, basically three month blocks. And so we break them up meteorologically March, April and May. Also indicative of the time we're getting into tomorrow, we've got that statewide tornado drill. The, it happens every year, the tornado safety drill. Uh, and uh, you want to start to think, get that in mind. Uh, where is your safe place? What do you do in the event of severe weather? This is Severe Weather Awareness Week, and uh, that'll happen tomorrow. So be aware of that, 10.07 a.m. There's a hint of moisture on the max track. There's a frontal boundary dropping south. What we're likely going to see this morning is an increase in cloud cover, partly to mostly cloudy skies at times. A couple of showers up over uh, Indiana and Ohio there, but if you look at the max track and the uh, surface map here, you can see this frontal boundary dropping south, that moisture out ahead of it. That should hang just to our northern counties. And our better chance for rain is suppressed all the way until this weekend when it fires up Sunday into Monday. We'll have widespread showers, like some uh, thunder showers late in the weekend as well. Uh, but here comes that front, and there's that mainly cloud cover that we get to deal with by later on today and into this morning. By late this afternoon, we should end up mostly sunny. That front slips south. We'll have the wind kicking back over to the southwest as a warm front lifts over Ohio. So no real temperature change over the next couple of days. The second front coming in will have a little more moisture to work with. Some rain showers over Ohio and Indiana. And check this out on the back edge of it. We'll see a temperature drop into Thursday. Uh, Thursday, we could even see a few snow showers close to Cincy, mainly in a line from Indiana or Indianapolis, I should say, over towards western Ohio. But just an indication of that colder air that's on the move. We are 11 degrees warmer now than we were at this point yesterday, though, so we are on that warming trend. Doesn't seem like it when you're talking about the 30s, but hey, we're above freezing. You're not down south, though. You've got some upper 20s pocket of those down into our southern counties, but we'll all be in on the low 60s later on today. And then tomorrow, after a dip down in the upper 30s to low 40s, we're back into the low to even mid and upper 60s. Look at that, 70 degree high for Bowling Green potentially tomorrow. So just feeling really good. And the six to 10 day temperature outlook as we get farther along into March, this runs March 7th through the 11th, well below normal temperatures out west, above normal stuff here, even warmer as you go south and east toward the Atlantic and uh, Gulf Coast there. So I uh, expect more of this above normal warmth. Remember our average high for today in Lexington is 51 degrees. So we're about 10 degrees above what we would typically see this time of the year, more reminiscent of what we see in early April, actually. Partly to mostly sunny, a beautiful day. Tonight, mostly clear and quiet. Tomorrow, after that front pushes through and the wind kicks over to the southwest, nothing but sunshine and, of course, that statewide tornado drill in the morning. By Thursday, we're partly sunny. The second front knocks us back down to the low 50s, actually puts us right around our average high. And then temperatures jump again this weekend, well above normal warmth. In fact, we may take a crack at 70 here in Lexington. It also comes with a price, though, that rising chance for showers and storms late in the weekend into early next week.